All right, got enough time for another video here, so I'm gonna do one because uh, I I've seen a couple of videos on it for, uh, on the Orthotropics channel. Sorry, I'm just gathering my thoughts together. So there's a lot of umin and r in, but yeah. <clears throat> spaces between the teeth, like you see in every video of mine, you know, because I've got spaces between the teeth, obviously. You know, it's an interesting issue because typically when I was searching this stuff, and granted, when I was really starting to get into this, it was about two years ago, and the information has come a long way since then. It really has. It's way more accessible now, which is wonderful to see because this is important stuff. But tooth crowding gets talked about a lot. You know, everyone seems to have crowded teeth to some degree these days, and it's because the jaws are too small, there's not, you know, the arches aren't big enough, all that. I'm sure you've heard of all that already, but gaps, like the type I've got, don't seem to get mentioned as much. And I remember when I, one of the last times I went to the dentist, actually, it was probably about 16 or something like that, which was about 10 years ago. I don't know, I'm not good with the time frames, but one of the last memories I've got from going to the dentist was I mentioned the gap teeth because I was curious about it. I wasn't fussed about it, never got bullied at school or anything for it, which is weird. You figure that would have been good ammo, but, you know, whatever. Uh, I was never fussed cosmetically about it, but it did, even at that age, you know, before I was really getting into looking at health and things like that, I wondered how come they're spaced and, you know, most people's aren't, that sort of thing. It was a curious thing, so I asked the dentist, and basically his response was, yeah, don't fuck with them. That was, you know, paraphrasing, obviously, but what he did say was they're straight, they're healthy, don't touch them. Because crowding is such a big issue with most people these days, and, you know, it results in losing teeth. So the idea of having gap teeth, which while not cosmetically ideal by any stretch, it seems like a good alternative. And, you know, for example, I've never had a cavity in my adult life. And I put that down to having a good lip seal. Like I tell it, even looking at pictures of myself uh, long before I, you know, come across the ultratropic stuff. You know, as a musician, when I'm gigging, you know, not thinking about my posture or anything like that, you know, completely at rest as far as oral posture goes. And my mouth's always shut. I've, I haven't seen a picture where I've got it open unless I'm singing. You know, so, and that's what I put down my lack of cavities to. You know, I haven't had a single issue with my teeth. And I haven't been to a dentist for, yeah, long time, you know. Five years plus, easily. No questions about it. And most people in my family have pretty big and significant issues with their teeth. And I can sum it up straight away, you know, I most of my family are musicians. Look at pictures of them when they're playing. Mouth's there. Uh, while they're playing. Just completely open. And I've started to point this out a lot recently. Because, you know, two immediate family members have had some fairly prominent issues with their teeth. And to me, because I'm into the orthotropic stuff... You know, I don't have problems with my teeth like they do. It seems so obvious. Shut your gob, get your tongue up, you know. Over the long term, these problems will go away. Now, granted, that doesn't offer much help with the immediate problem when you're suffering it. But for anyone that has not had problems so far and you're concerned about it, keep your gob shut, get the tongue up, keep the teeth lightly together. The same old answer you're going to hear every time. That will go a massive amount of the way towards making sure your teeth are in good health. But yeah, to get back to the point at hand, spaces between the teeth, like mine. I mean, gap teeth at the front, not between the upper and lower or anything like that. But yeah, these come about because the tongue pushes against them, to one degree or another. Before I started correcting my oral posture with the orthotropic, well, tropic premise, I keep mispronouncing that. But yeah, before I started correcting it, my tongue used to swallow against my front teeth in exactly the shape of the gaps, you know. For example, you know, you think, oh, gap teeth at the front, whatever, you know, it's genetic, but it doesn't explain why I've got a gap here, between the canine and, you know, the lateral incisor, and not here. I don't know if you can see it too well, but it's lopsided. It's on the one side. That seems pretty odd as a genetic explanation. Especially when my tongue used to fit exactly that shape. It used to swallow against it. It used to push out more on this side than this side, you know. And with the bottom teeth as well, I can see the effect. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a lot subtler there. It's harder to sum up. But I used to have some slight gaps between the bottom ones as well. You know, very slight compared to the top. But again, it fit exactly with the pattern of the tongue. It was more like it on this side and all that sort of, And they've closed since I started the orthotropic stuff. Basically don't have gaps between my bottom teeth at all now. You know, very slight, but... Nothing worth pointing out, you know, they just look, you know, like teeth, slightly lopsided, big deal. But yeah, so gap teeth, they come about because of basically the same reason crowding appears. You know, it's a slightly different uh, expression of it, but the core problem is the tongue isn't up in the palate enough. 
when the tongue's up in the roof of the mouth, all the forces, you know, <clears throat> sorry, I'm still getting over a nasty cough. They all do what they're supposed to do. You don't get any strange things happening with the teeth. You get ideal occlusion, you know, no gaps, no crowding, room for all the wisdoms because the forces are all going where they have to. If for some reason, you know, it becomes a habit, as it does with most people, for the tongue to posture lower in the mouth, you know, between the teeth, not like chewing on it, but just lower down, you will get some funny things happening depending on exactly how you place your tongue. So in my case, I think it's fairly obvious I have gap teeth at the front of my mouth because my tongue come down too low, not enough room for it to stay up at the back of the mouth, so there's only one way it was going to go in my case, due to whatever circumstances, my own unique expression of this problem, my tongue pushed against my front teeth, especially when swallowing. You know, it rested against them for the most part, I think. I can't remember exactly where it used to sit at rest, but it definitely, you know, there's my teeth, it swallowed right against them. You know, no question why I've got gap teeth in my mind. Years of that, you know, a lifetime of that nearly. And I remember when the gaps appeared as well to look back in photos, it was around the same time I started to have really big issues with my tonsils, which, you know, indicates breathing issues, all that sort of thing, whatever it is, these things go hand in hand. They're not genetic randomness or anything like that. This is not a case of having your dad's jaw and your mum's teeth or anything like that. This is simply an environmental issue of physics, basically. You know, if the tongue's swallowing against the teeth, it will push them apart, you will get gaps, you know, and yeah. I've got them because I swallowed against them like that. It will take a long time to correct. And I believe, because with my gap teeth, I'm seeing the middle one hasn't changed yet. In two years of applying the tropic premise, it hasn't moved. The ones either side of it definitely bloody have. You know, they've gotten way smaller. I think I can see it on camera compared to my first videos, but that is quite a big ask because, you know, it's not brilliant quality. It's hard to tell. You know, camera's a bit fuzzy and all that, the way I got it set and stuff, you know, and it it's subtle. These are always going to be subtle changes. Until they close completely, it's not going to be obvious. You'll be able to pick it apart until then, which is why I don't have decent before and afters. You know, I can get the same effect if I took a before now, which these videos are kind of serving as, and, you know, wait for them to get together and then take a picture then. But anyway, so yeah, to get back to the point at hand, spaces between the teeth happen because your tongue is posturing and, you know, against them. It's pushing them out in some way. So take a look at your teeth, take a look at the way, sorry, it's that damn cough again, but yeah. Take a look at the way they're formed, take a look at the way your jaws are structured, see if you can spot where you're posturing your tongue in relation to it, you know, just if it pushes against one part of your mouth, it will be pushed outward on that side. It, it's dead simple, it really is. There's nothing complicated or genetic about this. There's no magic or randomness to the way our teeth are formed. Again, mine are formed the way they are because there's not enough room at the back. And yeah, it's pushed out the front to make room for the tongue. Simple. Very simple. The solution to it is to get my maxilla up, get it expanding so that the jaws are pushed outwards, the teeth are moved forward where they should be, and the lip seal, natural relaxed lip seal, is able to pull the teeth into line. You might think it's a smart idea to suck in, you know, against them to seal the gap. It doesn't work like that. You know, I tried that for a while, actually, experimenting with it, and it, it didn't do anything. It really didn't. The only times I've noticed obvious, relatively quick changes to my gaps are when I've made a point of shoving the tongue up more. That will push it forward, it will move the jaw forward, and the lips will be able to do their job properly then. You know, if you suck too much with it, you'll limit the expansion of your jaws, you'll get minimal results. You know, it's why... When I talk about the tropic premise, yeah, you have to keep the lips gently together. I'm certain I've seen that, you know, written as part of it by the Dr. Muse, but keep the lips lightly together and expand the jaws. Get the teeth to pull into line that way. You'll have a healthy occlusion then, not just trying to patch the problem, you know. If you're going to go with that approach, get braces, you know. They do great work at straight, uh, straightening teeth, you know, orthodontists, more traditional approaches, but point is you don't get the health benefits that go with it and you'll have to use a retainer for the rest of your life. I would strongly recommend against that for whatever my opinion is worth. Let's say my teeth are getting closer together. It's a slow process. The big gap in the middle is going to take quite a while yet because I believe I have to get the ones next to it to close to get the force applying to it to get that part to close up. It's a simple matter of time. Just all I have to do is keep applying the posture changes and wait, you know.
That's the biggest obstacle. You know, 10 times out of 10, that's the obstacle with the oral posture stuff. So yeah, that's my take on tooth spacing in a nutshell. Gap teeth, can't remember the technical term. You know, it's fundamentally exactly the same problem as crooked teeth. You know, just expressed in a slightly different way. So yeah, get your tongue up, keep your lips together, keep your teeth lightly together so they can align properly. It's going to become a catchphrase on these videos, you know. It already is on the orthotropic ones. But yeah, do that. You'll get good alignment of the teeth. The gaps will go, crowding will disappear. Yeah, and we'll all live happily ever after. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this or found it engaging to some degree. Best of luck with your efforts. Take care. Bye.